एवरीवन माय नेम इज रवि प्रकाश एंड वी आर डूइंग नंबर सिस्टम टू दिस इज द टेंथ क्लास ऑफ फैक्टर्स ओके सो स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन हियर इफ थ्री डिजिट नंबर पी क्यू आर हैज टू फैक्टर्स हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स डस सिक्स डिजिट नंबर पी क्यू आर पी क्यू आर विल हैव राइट सो पी क्यू आर हैज टू फैक्टर्स राइट सो नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इन टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट इज दिस पी क्यू आर हैज टू फैक्टर्स ओके This PQR has two factors, and second part is what is about PQR, PQR, right? See, I'll try and split this. What is this PQR, PQR all about, right? So PQR, PQR. So we discussed this concept earlier also, right? See, suppose A B C is a three-digit number. So how do we write it? We write it like ten square A plus ten raised to one into B plus C, right? Because A is at hundreds place, B is at tens place, C is at ones place, right? Let the number be six thirty seven. So let's suppose it's a three digit number. How do you break, right? Six into hundred plus three into ten plus seven into one because seven is at ones place, three is at tens place, six is at hundreds place, right? So A B C is what? Similarly, hundred A plus ten B plus C, right? So if you write a four digit number A B C D, I can write like Okay, ah, uh, ten cube a, ten cube a plus ten square b plus ten c plus d. This I can break like okay. So a is at thousands place, b is at hundreds place, c is at tens place, d is at ones place. Right. So how do you write a number? When you write number, you write a number as three number, three digit number, or four digit number, or five digit number. Right. So you multiply each digit by its place value. Okay. So Any number, right? So let's say we're here, and the number is what? The number is a six-digit number of the form. Let's say A B C A B C. Right. So let's break this number up. What is number will be? So again, this ones, tens, hundred. That is ten square, ten cube, ten four, ten five. We can break like A into ten raised to five, plus B into ten raised to four, plus C into ten cube, plus A into ten square. Okay, plus b into ten raised to one and plus c into ten raised to zero. This is a break of the number, right? So basically, it looks like ten raised to five a plus ten raised to four b plus ten cube c plus ten square a plus sorry, here till one. Uh, here till one here. Okay. So plus ten raised to one b and plus c, right? Now you combine this a and a. If a and a you just combine this a and a, we can combine, right? So ten five a and ten square a. What I can take common? Ten five a plus ten square a. I can take ten square as common. If I take ten square as common, I'll be left with ten cube a plus a from both the a's bracket, a's term, right? I begin. Ten square is of common, so ten cube a plus a is left. Similarly, from both the b's term, from for both the b's term, right? I can take ten as common. If I take ten as common, here ten cube b plus b will be left. Correct. Now, similarly, ten cube c here nothing is common but ten cube c plus c. So ten cube c plus c is left. So what is it now? You see, this is what this is nothing but thousand one a. This is thousand one b, and this is thousand one c, right? So I'll write one more step here. Let's come back here. Okay, so I'll write this step here, and it becomes what? It becomes hundred into thousand and one a plus ten into thousand and one b. Plus thousand and one c. Now, if I take thousand and one common here from all the three brackets, three sorry three terms. This is one term. This is second term. This is third term. If I take thousand and one as common here, so it becomes hundred a plus ten b plus c, right? Or we can write it as thousand and thousand one into a three digit number a b c. Thousand and one into three digit number a b c. Right. So basically, it uh, it, it uh, represents what hundred a plus ten b plus c is what 
ए बी सी इट्स थ्री एट नंबर दैट्स वाई वी ओपन अप थ्री एट नंबर टू राइट मैथमेटिकली सो हंड्रेड ए प्लस टेन बी सी बट वी कैन राइट इट एज ए बी सी एज इज थ्री डिजिट नंबर राइट थ्री डिजिट नंबर ए बी सी इज रिटर्न एज हंड्रेड ए प्लस टेन बी प्लस सी राइट सो बेसिकली वॉट द फंडा इज दिस ए बी सी ए बी सी ओके सो दिस ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी ए बी सी इज रिटर्न एज लाइक वॉट थाउजेंड एंड वन into abc now it's a good pattern in quant right so you can remember this pattern abc abc it has 1001 into abc it can be written like right so on this this question we will solve right this question we will solve okay so let's come back to this question next slide i am putting i hope you don't have any doubt here right so i am I have broken. I have broken this uh, A B C A B C mathematically. So write like this: A into ten raised to five, and plus B to ten raised to four, plus C into ten cube like this. And we took from here. We took thousand hundred as common. Then we took thousand as common. Come from here to come back to this step. So it resulted thousand and one into A B C. So A B C A B C can be written like this: right? Thousand and one into A B C. Fine. So I am putting the next slide here. Yeah okay, so now we can solve this question here. See, so now I can rightly write. In the last slide we wrote this point A B C A B C S thousand one into A B C right. So similarly I can write P Q R P Q R rightly is equal to thousand and one into P Q R right. P Q P Q R is what? It's a three digit number right. Now what is thousand one? You remember first uh, class of factors, right? I wrote all those such a point numbers which we'll use in quant, right? So thousand one one was one of them. It is what it is seven into eleven into thirteen. Okay, please whatever I teach now, please do remember it. You just make a note, you revise it, right? Whatever I'm teaching it, it's very very important, right? Not a single word I speak is out of the context, right? Very important to raise your IQ level, intelligence level, and you can excel in all exams, like. Any MBA preparation exam, CAT, ZAT, and MAT, anything, right? IFT. So please do remember these things, right? So PQR, PQR is equal to thousand one into PQR. So what is thousand one? Seven into eleven into thirteen into PQR, right? Right. Now, if three question is if three digit number PQR has two factors, right? Now you should know that which number has two factor? A number having two factors. Which number will have two factor? Only prime numbers. Because two factor can be written on only one prime base, base is a and power is one, so only one prime base, right? So a is a prime number here. That means only prime numbers has got two factors, right? That means P Q R is a prime number. So first thing to note here is P Q R is a is a P Q R is a three digit number, right? Don't read like don't read like P into Q into R. It is hundred P plus ten Q plus R, right? So P Q R is a Prime number. It is a first conclusion. Okay, P Q R is a prime number. Now, so see if P Q R is a prime number here, it's a three digit number prime number here, right? This P Q R can be this seven into eleven into thirteen, right? And P Q R now is a three digit prime number here. It's a three digit prime number here, right? P Q R. Okay. So P Q R is a prime number here, and I know that P Q R is a three-digit prime number, right? P Q R is a prime number, and P Q R is a three-digit prime number here. That also you know, right? That means you could think of one case, right? That if P Q R is a prime number, if I say only prime number, that means it could be one of the one of seven, eleven, and thirteen also, right? But it's a three-digit prime number, right? That means it's a different prime number. It's a prime number other than seven, eleven, and thirteen. So I can write like seven into eleven into thirteen into P one. P Q this P Q R can be written as P Q R P Q R can be written as seven into eleven into thirteen into P one. Where P one is a what is P one? P one is a three digit prime number. Is a three digit prime number right? So how many factors it will have? How many factors it will have? It will have all all have got power one right? Power one power one power one power one. So how many factor factors it will have? One plus one into one plus one 
into one plus one into one plus one, right? It will have two into two into two into two total sixteen factors. This is the answer, right? So if a three-digit number PQR has two factors, how many factors does six-digit number PQR PQR will have, right? It will have sixteen factors because PQR has two factors. That PQR has two factors. That means PQR is a prime number. Don't read PQR as P into Q into R. PQR is a three-digit number, like two thirty-seven or like one zero nine. This kind of number, right? That's a prime number. So PQR is a prime number. So it's a three-digit prime number. So it's obviously other than seven, eleven, eleven, and thirteen, right? It is other than this three number, right? So we have that means PQR PQR can be written in terms of four prime product product of four prime numbers, right? So how many factors? All about power one. So two into two into two into two total sixteen factors, right? Okay, now this question will become interesting if I do a bit of add, a bit of change here, right? Now please you uh, try this question. If I make here, if PQR, if a three number PQR has now three factors, right? How many factors does six digit number PQR PQR will have? Now this becomes an interesting question now, right? Let's try this question. Okay, pause this video for two minutes and try this question. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll solve, right? So I hope you have tried this after pausing this video. So now, see PQR has three factors now, right? So again, n has you remember n has three factors. What can be n? Any prime number base to what? What is the power? Power will be factor minus one. Prime base power is factor minus one, right? So a square. That means n is nothing but a prime is prime number is square, right? So if n has three factors. That means n is a prime number square. That's it. Only possibility, right? So n has three factors. N is a prime number square. Correct. So now come to this question now. So again, you can write like this: PQR PQR is equal to thousand one into PQR. What is thousand one? Seven into eleven into thirteen. Now into this PQR, right? Now if PQR has three uh, has got uh, three factors here, then PQR can be any three digit prime number. Sorry, not prime number. It can be a square of any prime number, but it has to be three digit, right? That means this seven into eleven into thirteen into I should write a p one is square. P one is a I should write p what is p one? P one is a prime number. Is a prime number where p one is square has to be in three digit, right? Understand? P one is square has to be in three digit, right? That means Now this is very good question actually because if p one is square has to be three digit and p one is a prime number then you can you can sense it that p one cannot be equal to like seven, right? Because seven is a prime number but seven is square is forty nine, so seven is square is forty nine which is a two digit number not a three digit number. I need a three digit number right? So like this I need to proceed. Okay, so seven into eleven into thirteen into p one is square so. Now, p one can p one is square can be anything. P one can be anything apart from seven, eleven, and thirteen also. But it could be one among these also, right? So if it is one among these, they they will combine. They will combine. If p one is thirteen, then they will combine to form a cube here, right? If p one is eleven, then they will combine to form a cube to form a cube here, right? Already I told p one can't be seven. P one can't be seven, right? So. There are two possibilities, right? That P one could be anything of eleven and thirteen, and otherwise P one can be seventeen number, seventeen also, nineteen also, right? That is up other other than seven, eleven, and thirteen, right? So I can make two cases here. The first case will be. The first case will be when P one is equal to eleven or thirteen. <laughs> okay, P one can't be seven. We explained here because if P one is seven. P one square is what forty nine. So if P one square is forty nine, it's a two digit number. That I know that your P one square is what? What is P one square? N. What is N here? It's a three digit number. P Q R. Right. It's a three digit number. P Q R. So P one is what? P one is eleven or thirteen. So if P one is eleven or thirteen, so in both the cases, this P Q R P Q R will look like P Q R P Q R will look like seven into eleven. So if P one is eleven, then it becomes eleven. P one is eleven, it becomes eleven cube into thirteen, or seven into 
11 into 13 cube, right? In one case, in this case, P1 is equal to 11 and in this case, P1 equal to 13, right? So P1 can be 11 or 13. So if it is 11, so 11 is square and 11 combines to form 11 cube, right? And even 13 and 13 is square forms to form, forms to, combines to form 13 cube, right? But doesn't matter, right? In both they have written or here because in both the cases, number of factors will be same because both is of both is of the form a b c q a b c q right a b c q two prime numbers have same power one one and one is the cube right other is the cube so that means how many factors it will have so number of factors in case one will be so number of factors so in this case number of factors factors will be how much number of factors seven raised to one so two eleven cube so four two into four into two in this case, it will have 16 factors, right? So in case one, it will have 16 factors, correct? Right, everybody is fine? Okay, now case two, case two, right? Let me write here, I'm rubbing it off. Now, in case two, let me know what is PQR here. So PQR, PQR was nothing but, it was seven into 11 into 13, into p1 is square where p1 is a prime number right and p1 is square is a three digit number p1 is a prime number and p1 is square is a three digit number right okay so case two so in case two p1 is not equal to 11 or 13 i told you p1 cannot be equal to 7 because 7 square is 49 it's a two digit number right not a three digit number it won't be pqr form so p1 when p1 is not equal to 11 13 so that means pqr pqr will be in this case 7 into 11 into 13 into some let's say a is square where a is where a is or i should write p1 only here no issue should write p1 only here right so i should take another variable p1 is square i know that p1 is other than 11, 7, 11, 13, right? Already it can't be equal to 7. And in this case, I am taking it is not equal to 11 and 13. So that means we have four different prime numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have four different prime bases, right? Prime bases. That means in this case, what is the answer? How many factors? So all power 1, power 1, power 1, power 2. That means 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So it will have how much? 24 factors. This is the answer for case 2, this is the answer for case 1. Right. So our answer are 24 factors and 16 factors. An absolutely super question, right? Super important concept also. This can be used everywhere in quant, right? In factors also we, we can use this uh, and this opening up of PQR, PQR, like 1001 into PQ, PQR or ABC, ABC like 1001 into ABC can also be used, right? So super question, if you have any doubt, please ping me or uh, I hope you've got this question, right? So let's do one more question of this kind, right? Let's do one more question of this kind, okay? First you should try, okay? First you should try and then tell me, uh, then uh, I'll explain, right? So again, we we'll pause the video for two, for two to five minutes, right? And then you can try this question. The question is, Basically, find find the number of factors factors of three 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 three. Right. So this three 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 is written eight times. This is written eight times. Okay. So find the number of factors for this three 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 three. Okay. Okay. We'll solve. I hope you have paused the video for five minutes and tried it, right? Just match, match the solution now. So see, if it is three, 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 and three, 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 right? We can break again this of the form like A by we broke, right? A, B, C, A, B, C form or what is A, B, C? So A, B, C is nothing but 100 A plus 10 B plus C like that. Huh? Or A, B, C, A, B, C is nothing but, right? Expand it 10 raised to 5a plus 10 square 10 raised to 4b, right? You proceed like that, huh? So, here also, 
so here also we'll do same thing here but now the, since there are eight digits here so eight digits you can expand in the group of two two you can expand in the group of two two or you can do it in group of four four right so it's four i think it's okay because four is we think we need to make only two groups right you can do it by two two also no issue right so but you can make in groups of four four so one group of four i'll take and other group of four i'll take right so see once you expand it there are eight digits right so starting from 10 raised to 0 3 into 10 raised to 0 3 into 10 raised to 1 3 into 10 is square like this last will be 3 into 10 raised to 7 okay so last is 3 into 10 raised to 7 plus 3 into 10 raised to 6 okay okay plus 3 into 10 raised to 5 plus 3 into 10 raised to 4 3 into 10 cube plus 3 into 10 is square plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to 0 okay so now from this uh, i told you we'll make groups of 4 4 okay from this first uh, last 4 and this 4 4 right we'll take something as common so let's say from here I'll, i can take 10 raised to 4 as common right so if i take 10 raised to 4 as common it becomes 3 into 10 cube plus 3 into 10 is square plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to 0 correct from here nothing will take common so you can simply write this whole term 3 into 10 cube plus 3 into 10 is square plus 3 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to 0 right yeah so from is equal to now from here now this what is this, uh, this whole term just see these two terms are identical right these two terms are identical okay so what is the value of this term so you add it nothing you get that number itself right that is 1000 into 3 3000 plus 300 plus 10 plus 1 sorry plus 30 plus 3 that is so you can write like 10 4 into triple 3 plus trip, uh, sorry 4 times 3 4 times 3 so now if you take this 3 3 3 3 as common you will get 10 raised to 4 plus 1 that is nothing but uh, that is nothing but uh, 3 3 3 3 into 10,001 right into 10,001 again right so we have the deduced till here right very important concepts is right just you copy with always when I'm uh, doing all this thing you also we keep with a copy and pen and practice right okay now we'll bring into factors right 10,001 again I explained explained in factors first video right again important number we will derive it it was what I hope you remember this this was what this was what 137 into 73 okay there are two prime numbers very difficult to derive right so these numbers should remember I have written all many such numbers in factors one video right it's starting only so you get familiar with all those numbers right okay now what is 4 times 3 now what is 4 times 3 right so see what is 4 times 3 we write here so 4 times 3 will be 11 11 11 into 3 what is 11 11 11 11 nothing but 101 into 11 into 3 right so it basically it is 101 into 11 into 3 right so like this i can break now all these are prime numbers here right all these are one prime number two prime number three prime number four prime number five six. all these are prime numbers here right one 37 is a prime number 73 is a prime number 101 is a prime number right so how many factors it will have all are having power one so how many factors it will have two into two into two into two into two total 32 factors right so find the number of factors for eight times three right this is how much this is 32 is the answer right again a super question right okay We'll stop this video here. Okay. Thank you. We'll continue this factors concept into next videos. Okay.